Hi, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. I'm gonna show you the tools library. If you've used PDQ Deploy, then you've used the package library. In PDQ Inventory, we've had the collection library for a while. Well, we're expanding that, and now we have the tools library. You've always been able to do what's called custom tools, where you can create your own tools, uh, scripts that you use, utilities that you wanna integrate with PDQ Inventory. And we've always had tools that were just built in so that you could, uh, you know, select you could just select a computer, go to tools, and open up the, uh, the, the event viewer or use PDQ deploy, deploy a package to it, uh, initiate a VNC session, etc. And then there was the old custom tools. Well, custom tools in PDQ inventory 11 has been renamed to just tools. And uh, you no longer can, you no longer modify them from preferences. Remember in preferences, you'd go to custom tools. Well, now that's been removed and just it's on the main console. So now you have tools and you can organize them even the built-in ones the way you want create folders etc so here's the built-in ones and there's a couple of uh, custom ones that, that, that i've got but then there's the tools library and this requires an enterprise mode uh, the tools library it's it's fairly um you know small at this point but uh it's going to grow as time goes on basically here just some powershell scripts regular scripts that you can have um, so scroll through, find what you like, like, oh, I want to go to local users and group manager. Maybe import that one. Uh, if you have computers that get renamed a lot, here's a PowerShell script to uh, get renamed history. And then we'll do a, uh, a persistent ping. How's that? Select the ones you want, click import, and they are now imported there. Uh, it's very easy to create, um, like I say, a folder if you want to organize these a little bit. Maybe call, an ad, call this admin and just throw a couple of these in there. And you, once again, you can even move on down some of these yeah, that you want. Now, it's the same method of accessing those tools. Uh, you can go to your, to your computer and it, from the collection window and right click on a computer, go to tools. And then you'll see there's the uh, click on local users. Manager, sure enough, it loads the local users and groups for Abraham, which was the computer we selected. You can also do it from within the computer. Computer window, go to tools, same thing there. And uh, you can always uh, associate a shortcut, a keyboard shortcut if you want. Some of them we've got those already associated. Just make sure that whatever you, you, you're um, selecting for your shortcut doesn't step on other programs that are, that are out there. To, to change that, let's say, uh, maybe I want to change the remote registry that I've got. Shortcut, control alt nine to control alt eight. You don't have to type that in. All you have to do is put the cursor in that field and then just type in the buttons that you want. So I'll do control alt eight and it picks up those computer, or those uh, the button sequence that you selected. And that's how you can initiate uh, your tools from a keyboard shortcut. So check out the tools library. More tools are, are gonna be added all the time. You'll see how they're broken up by category. Uh, go nuts if you have any questions or recommendations. There's a form on our support forms for requesting tools. So once again, I'm Shane. Uh, enjoy, let us know how we can help you. Talk to you later.